This is the vacuum control valve. It's pretty easy to identify. It's bright yellow, mounted on the passenger side fender underneath the engine compartment. It has three vacuum lines, one white, one yellow marked only on the ends, and the one on the bottom should be red. The yellow line connects to the carburetor secondary. The yellow line connects to the float bowl and the red line connects to the intake manifold. What this thing does is it acts like a PCV valve for the carburetor float bowl. When driving in hot weather or at heavy loads for a long period of time, the float bowl in the carburetor gets hot and begins to pressurize. The white vacuum line is what actuates the device. When vacuum gets above 1.6 inches of mercury, it opens this valve, allowing vacuum to flow through the red and yellow vacuum lines and depressurize the float bowl. Testing this valve is pretty easy. Attach a vacuum pump to the white vacuum line and apply a vacuum of 1.6 inches of mercury. Then simply blow through the yellow line and make sure that air comes out of the red line. If this valve has failed or is connected improperly, it may cause the engine to sputter and stall under load, have a rough idle, or the engine may be hard to start when it's hot.